YouTube. Um, it's Nighttime FX here. Um, I'm going to bring you a short tutorial on how to speed up your rendering um, in Sony Vegas. Uh, this is something that I found out uh, about a week ago and it has been helping me out a lot. It's been speeding up my rendering about five times, five or six times faster. Um, this is my first tutorial so bear with me here so if there's anything you uh, think I've done wrong sure let me know in a comment below or um, if you post a video response or something if you want something similar um, I'm going to be start doing a couple of tutorials um, on After Effects and Vegas and if there's anything else that you want to know um, so if you let me know uh, what you really want to see. Um, sure, I'll try and do my best and see what I can come up with. Anyway, let's get started here. Uh, so if you open up your Sony, um, import your clip. Let's see what I've got here. Okay, make some hard drive. Let's see, lithiums. Uh, it's just a wee a slow motion test. Then. So, drag your clip onto the timeline. As always, I do the maintain aspect ratio. Now, this is just a very short clip which does a wee couple of tests on a slow motion. Let's see how you can get out of it. Let's see. Bit of a nutty asshole over there, like. Um, anyway. So, if you have your loop region, rend or yeah, if you have your loop region, if you render with the loop region, then obviously highlight it. Uh, if you don't, then you shouldn't need to. Um, now, with this, as far as I know, we'll only work with Windows-based PCs. Um, know about Macs? Haven't I don't know anybody that does it on Mac, and I haven't tried it right really. Um, it should work with most PCs because I've only got two gig RAM on a wee laptop so it it does the job of mine um, anyway so if you go just before you start your rendering if you go to your taskbar down here um, if you right click then go to start task manager then go to applications now this is here is you'll see your Vegas here so if you go to that and you right click that and you go to, go to process then you should see Vegas down here out of all of these then go to right click that and go to set priority and set it to high um, this here will come up it hasn't caused any problems with my computer it's only got 2 gig RAM so um, it shouldn't cause problems with most computers um, so if you change priority then go to exit out of that and you go back into your Vegas here and then go to file render as and pick where you're going to put in your name and all that there so that there's basically it. Um, it, it. It has helped out quite a lot with me, especially with the HD clips. If you're going to render HD clips, it, it has helped out. Um, but you know, that's my first tutorial. I've just done something that was quite simple. But I'm going to be doing other ones, and the next one I'm thinking about doing is uh, how to change your uh, restart button on Windows 7. Uh, if you see down here, that'll be blue one quite nifty um, and I'll post a link in the description of it on how to get the wee program it's very simple to do and quite effective I think to be perfectly honest it, it's there's a whole pile of different ones you can get you can get Gears of War ones and Punisher ones and Call of Duty ones and all so uh, it looks quite well um, so that's it now uh, if you let me know uh, if there's any other tutorials you'd like to find out on After Effects or Vegas and um, I've actually got my hands on here on Autodesk, the 3DS Max, so um, I'm still learning with it, and um, uh, maybe do the old tutorial on that, but um, otherwise than that I'll be doing Vegas and After Effects, and maybe other, a couple other nifty wee things. Um, anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, rate and comment.